Shiva Priyaha. Shiva means the wife of Lord Shiva. Parvati ji is called Shiva because she and Shiva are one. Priya means dear or beloved. So Shiva Priyaha means one to whom Parvati ji is very, very dear. And the other meaning is one who is the beloved of Mother Parvati. So both ways it means Lord Shiva. In the Kaivalya Upanishad, this form is praised. Prima Sahayam Parameshwaram Prabhum That he is the husband of Uma and he is the supreme Ishwara. He is the Lord, Parameshwara Prabhum. Both of them love each other single-pointedly and both of them did a lot of tapasya to obtain each other as the husband and wife. And both of them, really speaking, are one. In the Rudra Hridaya Upanishad, beautifully their relationship is described. Rudro Nara Umanari Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Brahma Umavani Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Vishnu Rumalakshmi Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudra Surya Umachaya Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudra Soma Umatara Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Diva Umaratrihi Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Yagna Umavedihi Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Vanhiru Maswaha Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Veda Umashastam Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Vriksha Umavalli Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Gandha Umapushpam Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Tha Akshara Soma Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha Rudro Linga Umapitam Tasmai Tasyai Namo Namaha so it is said Rudra is the man and Uma is the woman and every analogy ends by saluting both of them. How both of them complement each other, how both of them support each other. Rudra is Vishnu, Uma is Lakshmi, Rudra is Brahmaji, Uma is Saraswati Devi, Rudra is Surya, Uma is Chaya. Rudra is the moon, Uma is the stars. Rudra is day, Uma is night. Rudra is yajna and the Vedi is Uma. Rudra is Agni and Uma is Swaha, the wife of Agni Devta. Rudra is the tree, Uma is the creeper. Now if somebody says, no, Rudra is always greater and Uma is always dependent on her, that is again not true because the other analogies say that Rudra is the fragrance and Uma is the flower. Rudra is the meaning but Uma is the words. So they both complement each other, support each other and salutations to both of them. Their relationship is very interesting. They come together and the quality time they spend together is the whole Leela of Srishti, Sthiti and Samhar. Creation, sustenance and destruction is a Leela of Shiva and Shiva together. Shiva and Parvati together. Only Shivji will not be able to create the universe because it is absolute non-dual reality. And only Parvati ji will again not be able to create in the absence of consciousness. So both come together, then the Srishti happens. And also both of them spend time individually, independently. So they give space to each other also. Shivji is absorbed in meditation, reveling in the self or thinking about Bhagavan Ram. Parvati ji has her own sports and pastimes to spend her time. So both of them come together yet give space to each other. Parvati ji is never 
complaining to Lord Shiva that you don't give me quality time. You are always busy doing your meditation. I am not important to you. She doesn't complain. They live in Kailash, in the bitter cold there. They don't have any mansions or any palace or any such thing. Mother Parvati has accepted it. She did penance to obtain Lord Shiva, knowing well who is Lord Shiva. So it's a beautiful aspect. Each one learns to accept the other as they are. So Shivji is Vairagi. Shivji is one who lives in cremation ground sometimes. He gets lost in meditation. He wears bhasma. You know, he has long jata. He doesn't take bath for many days. Mother Parvati has no complaints. She, on the other hand, she also has long hair, beautifully decorated. She wears you know, beautiful ornaments. She decorates herself beautifully with flowers and various other items. Shivji doesn't complain. Shivji, Shivji doesn't say that you are doing all this. It is a show of extravagance. Both have accepted each other as they are. Parvati ji doesn't feel jealous of Mother Ganga. And Shivji doesn't feel that what is my spouse doing when she is alone. They both trust each other, love each other. And it is very interesting to note that both Ganesha and Kartikeya are the children of Lord Shiva and Mother Parvati. And both are born out of a non-physical contact. Both children are born not out of any physical union. Also, there is a beautiful relationship of a guru and shishya also between them. Mother Parvati is deluded when she thinks that who is this Ram? Is he really God? If he is God, why is he weeping inconsolably for his wife? And she asks that doubt to Bhagwan Shiva. Bhagwan Shiva's Ishta Devta is Bhagwan Ram. And Shivji explains the whole Ramayan to her, explains the glory of who really is Ram. And Parvati ji also feels very satisfied and she starts worshipping Bhagwan Ram. So Shivji gave her the knowledge also. Shivji initiated her into the Upasana of Bhagwan Ram. On another occasion, Mother Parvati asks, Bhagwan Shivji, about Guru, who is the Guru in the Guru Gita? There is a conversation between Lord Shiva and Mother Parvati and Mother Parvati is asking questions about Guru to Lord Shiva. And Lord Shiva gives the whole reply of who is the Guru Tattva, how to identify a Guru, what are the qualities of a Guru, how to relate to a Guru. So he initiates her into the knowledge about the Guru Tattva also. So they have a beautiful relationship where they support each other even spiritually. There is mutual love, there is mutual trust, there is mutual respect, there is mutual space, there is mutual working together, there is mutual spiritual growth and there is mutual entertainment also. In Shivananda Rehari, in the 54th shloka, it is beautifully described that it is twilight when the day ends and the night is about to begin. And symbolically, the day is like the summer where it is scorching and there is a lot of heat through the whole day. And the jivas are seeking happiness in the world outside because they are deluded by the maya and the glitter and glamour of the world tempts them. They forget who the real Lord is. And so they get as though exhausted, burned, fatigued, tired through the whole day. And just to soothe them, before the cool night begins, in the twilight, as though Lord Shiva is dancing in Pradosha time. It is said through an analogy that Lord Shiva dances in the form of a peacock because he has a blue neck. Shivji has a blue neck and peacock also has a blue neck. So he performs his dance of joy as a peacock 
in front of the peahen who is mother parvati and bhagwan vishnu at that time is playing the mridangam and all the devatas are standing around and they are in ecstasy they are like the lightning during the rain so bhagwan's dance is as though raining grace love compassion kindness on all the jivas and bringing them relief from the scorching heat of the day and these devatas are like the lightning which thunder and lightning that strikes at different times they are trying to see where is the dance of the lord happening and all these devotees seeing that dance are so thrilled their delusion has ended their ignorance has ended and mother parvati also feels very happy very entertained at the dance of lord shiva and she also feels the joy the thrill that how much more prosperity happiness and bliss knowledge bhagwan is going to shower through this dance so they have mutual entertainment also and they in that process help all the jivas to find liberation so this is the most beautiful relationship of lord shiva and mother parvati we pray to lord shiva and mother shiva to bless us with true love trust detachment knowledge and absolute bliss